Okay, good morning to you again. Good How are you? Fine. Good. It's nice to start with a smile. Now, look, expressions of a quantity, sum of, expresses what? Quantity, right? A lot of expresses quantity, two thirds of. Most of, they express what? They express a quantity, okay? Now, these expressions of a quantity don't determine what type of verb should be used after them. Now listen, it is singular if you have a singular noun. Look at book, it is singular. Equipment, okay, money, homework, okay. Now we used a singular noun and a singular verb. Now look, the same amounts, the same words, the same expressions, some of, a lot of, and so on. What did we use after them? Plural nouns. Plural nouns, good. And after the plural nouns? Plural nouns. Okay, good. What do you understand? Who can tell me? What do you understand? Yes, uh, Marwa? With the expressions of quantity, uh, we, we use the, the singular verbs when we use the uh, 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 singular noun. Good. But use plural verbs when we use uh, plural nouns. Thank you very much. So with expressions of a quantity, we can use plural and singular. Yes. If a plural noun is used, we use a plural singular. verb. Singular, we need what? Singular. singular. Okay. Read, please. Determined by the noun or the pronoun that I follow of, uh, for example, some, uh, some of uh, singular nouns, uh, singular verbs, some of plus blu uh, plural nouns uh, equal plural verbs. Okay, thank you. Now, look, one of my friends, uh, one of my friends, each of my friends, do you remember? When we talked about each, yes. okay, now, yeah, each student uh -huh, has, okay, each student has, every student have. Now, if I say each of, uh -huh, each of students, Each of the students has, okay, each of the students has. Look, now, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. Each, between each and each of. Yes, please. Very good. That's right, thank you very much. This is followed by a singular noun, and that is followed by a plural noun. Now look at the examples. Look at the examples. Now, one of my friends is. Uh, this is what? Plural. And this is singular. Okay. My each of my friends plural and singular. Every one of my friends. Okay. Now look, this is singular and this is plural. What does the rule say? What does the rule say? Yeah. The general rule of subject verb agreement. Plural verbs go with plural nouns and singular with singular. Okay, plural with a plural and singular with a singular. Now what about this? What can you see? This is singular and this is plural. This is what? Singular and plural. And this is what? Okay, and this is what? This is an exception. Okay? This is an exception. Yeah. Okay, read it. One of each of and every and every one of are followed by plural nouns and take singular verbs. Thank you very much. This is an exception to the rule, okay? Any question? Now, none of the boys is here. None of the boys. 
and none of the boys are. None of the boys is, and none of the boys are. Subjects with none of used to be considered singular. This is in the past. They used it in the past. Now it is not used. Okay? Used to be. I used to drive hard, uh, fast. It means I'm not driving fast now. I stopped, right? She used to come late. She's not coming late now. She stopped, okay? So they used to be considered what singular in very formal English, but plural verbs are often used in, okay, and sometimes even in formal writing. So in formal writing, we use what? The plural, okay? In formal writing, we use the plur plural. Now, in this class, in this class, we have 70 students, okay? This is the total number, okay? Yeah. The total number. So we say the number of students in this class is what? Uh -huh. We, we are talking about today, how many students want to, it is about 65. We have 65 out of 70, okay? So the number of students is, what does that mean? It means that a number of students are absent, okay? A number of students are absent. Now, the number uh -huh, is a number are. Okay, now we used what? Plural noun and plural noun. So, we have two expressions. Be careful about the number of and a number of. Look at this example, please. Read. The number of students in the class is 15. Yeah, the number is 15. Uh, now, this is what? This is the subject. subject yes. Good, go on. A number of students were late for, for class. Okay, a number of. It means a lot of. A lot of, a lot of students were. A lot of students are. So, we have two expressions. The number of students is. A number of students are. And, you know, as you see, this is followed by plural noun, and this is followed by what? Plural noun. Now, please look at your box. Exercise 11, and uh, let's do some points of the exercise. Look at your box, all of you. Would you read number one? Uh, some of uh, the fruit in uh, this uh, below boil uh, is rotting. Okay, this is done. Do number two. Yeah. Uh, some of the apples in. Uh, some of the apples. Boil. Uh, uh huh. Rotting. Some of the apples are. Are. are very good. Are. Thank you very much. Next one. Yes, please. Number three. Most of, read it, yeah, most of the movie is. Good, thank you. Next one. Most of, most of the movies they are funny. Thank you very much, good. Next one, yes please. A half of the students of the class are from Arabic speaking countries. You are right, half of the students are, good. Yes please, next. Half of this money is in Yes, half of this money is. Thank you very much, yes please. Good, thank you very much. Next one, please, yeah? A lot of the, a lot of the clothing in the stores is on You are right, thank you very much. Yes, please. One of my best friends are coming. Uh, one of my best friends is. 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 One is. One okay, is. thank you. Yes, Noor. Uh, each boy in the class has his own notebook. Each boy has. Very good, thank you. Yes, please, yeah? Which one you are doing? Number? 11. Each of the boys 
Has. Okay. Each of the boys has. Thank you. The twelve. Yes, please. Every one of the students is required to take the final test. Okay, thank you. Every one of the students is. Yes, please. None of the animals are. Okay. Okay, thank you. So none of the, the animals are free. All of them are. Okay, thank you. Yes, please. A number of students are absent. A number are. Good, thank you. Yes. Is the number is thank you very much. Yes, please. One of the chief must be asked in first and three is first. Yeah, one is thank you. Next one, 17. Uh, do all the students have their books? No. Do no. yes, yes, no. do no. she is right. Yes. Do all of the students okay have thank you. Next one, does all of this homework? Thank you. Yes, please. Why were some of the students? Very good. Why were some of the students? And finally. Okay, thank you very much. Why was one of the students? Okay. Now look. What about there? What do you have in your bag, Marwa? There is, uh, there is my phone. Uh, there is a sandwich in her bag. There are some books in her bag. Okay, what do you have in your bag, Khadija? Uh, I have the there is there is, some books. There is a book. Uh -huh. There is a grammar book. Okay, and thank you. Yeah, what do you have in your bag, please? There is, the, uh, uh, there is a wallet. Good. What do you have in your bag, please? I have the there, food. there. There, start with there. There is, uh, there is, there is the a mobile. Let's say it again. There is a mobile. Thank you very much. Yes, what do you have in your bag? There is some money. Thank you. Yes, what do you have in your bag? There is a chocolate. There is, okay. There is a piece of chocolate. Thank you. Good. Yes, what do you have in your bag? There are a lot of things. Thank you very much. Now look, there is a fly. Uh -huh. This is singular and this is singular. Uh, there are three windows. There are three windows. Now R can be followed by uh -huh. singular and singular or plural and plural, as you see. So we, uh, what determines the noun is the verb. The verb determines the type of noun, whether we need a singular or a plural one. Now, there is two sides to every story. This is informal, but it is used in everyday language. Okay? We want to do exercise 14. Please, look at your book. Exercise 14. Again, number one. Read it. Uh, there isn't any letters or there aren't? Aren't. Letters, plural. Thank you. Yes, please. Go on. Next one. There isn't any mail. Thank you. Yeah? There are a lot of problems in the A lot of problems. Good. Yes, please. There is a hole in this shop. Okay, good. There is a hole. Thank you. Yes, please. Are there? Kinds of beds are there. Thank you. Yes, please. Next one. Okay, thank you. Why isn't there a hospital? Good. Yes. There was a terrible. You are right. A terrible earthquake. Yes, please. Go on. Why is there a shortage of apartments? Aha. Thank you. Why? Which, yeah, this is number eight. Why is there a shortage? A shortage. This is what? Singular. Yes, please. Go on, Wala. 
there are more women than men. Okay, in my office. Thank you. Good. And next one, yes, please. Yeah. There, ha, listen, there, ha, a line. A line? This is singular. Please wait, wait. Yeah, what do you think? Why did you use have? How many lines? One. So with one we use has. Thank you. Good. Next one. Very good. Thank you very much. Now look. The United States, uh -huh, the United States is, is big. The United Arab Emirates is a big country. The United Arab Emirates is a big country. Look, it ends with S, but it takes what? Singular verb. Now, if you want to use a pronoun instead of the United States, do we use it or the? It. it. So it what? It is big. It is big, okay? Now, the Philippines consists. Uh, the country consists. It consists. The United Nations. Uh -huh, the United Nations has. Okay? Has. The, the organization has. It has. Okay? Harrods is a department store. Harrods is like in Gaza, let's say, steps. You know steps? Yeah. Steps. Uh -huh. What is steps? Yeah, what is it? Yeah, it is a big mall, a big supermarket in a Nasser Street, okay? So this is the name of the store. This is the name of the store, okay? This is the name. So we say steps is or steps are? Uh -huh. Steps is, okay? A big, huh? Steps is a big star. Steps is, okay? Now, the same thing, Harrods. This is the name of the star. Harrods is. Now, look. These nouns end with S. But they take what? Singular verb. They refer to a singular noun, not to a plural noun. The news uh -huh, is, interesting. is interesting, okay? The news is interesting. The furniture is new, okay? Mathematics is easy. Look, this ends with S. And takes singular verb. Uh, the news is. Mathematics, this is a field of study, a topic for study, okay? Phonetics is. Linguistics is, okay? Physics is, again, when we talk about fields of study, because it is one topic, okay, one subject, we use a singular verb. Okay, now look at this. Uh -huh. The diabetes, yeah, is an illness. Is an illness. It ends with S, but it is one disease, okay? Again, measles ends with what? S. So these names of diseases, though they end with S, but they show what? Singular, Singular nouns. They, yeah, they express one. We say it. It causes, it has, it makes, and so on. They are singular ones. Now, eight hours of sleep. Eight hours of sleep is enough. Uh, this period of time is enough. Okay? Uh, eight hours of sleep, this is a period. It is one period. So this period is what? Enough. Singular. Yeah, read the other one, please. Yes? Yes? Uh, it is too much. This sum, uh, this amount of money is what? Is too much to pay. Thank you. Read the other one, please. Miles is huh? 5,000 miles. Okay, this is distance. It is one distance, okay? Uh, one distance. So, this expresses a distance, expresses amount of money, a sum of money, and a period of time. 
So with these, we use what? Singular we use verbs. singular verbs. Thank you. Now, look at these mathematical expressions. Two and two is four. Is four. Ah, two and two is, is or two and two equals. equals. Two plus two is. is. Okay, five. Five times five. Five times five. Okay, five times five is what? Twenty-five. Now, with these arithmetic expressions, what type of verb did we use? Singular. Singular. So with uh, arithmetic expressions, we use what? Singular verbs. Thank you. Those people uh -huh, are. are. Uh, those people are. Yes. People are. Yes, please. Read the other one. The police have. Uh, have. The police have. Mm -hmm. Have. The policeman the has. has. Okay. Yeah, cattle are. Cattle are domestic animals. Mm -hmm. And fish live. Fish live. Okay, it takes a plural verb. They take plural verb. Are, cattle are, li uh, fish uh, live, and so on. Yeah, read the note, please. Very good. They require plural, plural, plural verbs, okay? Now, look. English is spoken in many countries. And the English drink tea. It is the same word. But the meaning is different. Now, English, we mean what? The language. Very good. So, English language is. English language has. Okay? English language makes you, and so on. But this is the English people from England. Okay? Nationality. The English drink. Yeah, Chinese is his native language. Chinese, again, this is what? The language. But the Chinese people, people, okay, live in China. Thank you. That's right. Now, some words can, okay, some words can be used or express a language or, or it, it have, some words have more than one meaning. If they express a language, uh, language is, English is, we use a singular verb. But if they express the people, the nationality, okay. Now, some nouns, read please. Yeah, French, for example. French is and the French are. Okay, go on. English, Spanish, Chinese, Vietnamese, Portuguese. Okay, thank you. Now, the poor have many problems. Uh -huh. The poor have. How do we translate the poor in Arabic? One speaker. Yeah. Very good. Al Fuqara. The poor have. Okay, the poor have many problems. This is an adjective preceded by the, so it is what? A plural noun. The poor have many problems. The rich get, okay, richer. The rich get richer. Now, read the notes, please. Okay, thank you. The disabled people who are disabled. The deaf people who are deaf. People who are blind and so on. Okay. Any question? Look at your book, please. Page uh, 94. Let's do the exercise.
Number one. Yes, please. The United States has a population. The United. Read it again. Very good. Okay, this is done. The United States has. Do, do number two, please. Number two, yeah. Okay, the news is very good. Thank you. The news is. Thank you. Yeah. Next one. Okay, thank you very much. The New York Times. This is a newspaper. The New, U the New York Times is. Thank you. Yes, please. Next one. Physics again. Please, one speaker, please. One speaker, yeah. Seek or six? Please, one speaker. One speaker, please. Yeah. Physics? It is singular. Okay, what is physics? It is a topic of study. Okay. It is like linguistics. We say linguistics is or are? Is. Okay, go on. Physics six, thank you. Yes, please. Statistics is. Okay, complete the sentence. A branch of mathematics. Okay, this is the study. Thank you, yeah. Okay, now look. In number five, statistics, statistics this is the science. Okay? But in number six, the statistics in the report. Uh -huh. You are right. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes, 50 minutes is or are? Is. 50 minutes is. Good. Thank you. Next one. Unreasonable price. Nicholas. Thank you. Many people don't have. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, please. Again. You are right. Thank you. The police are. Thank you. This is a type of disease. Yeah. Thank you. The French are. What do you mean by the French here? Nationality or people or language? Very good. Yes. Yeah, thank you. This is the language. French isn't my native language. Yes, voila. Thank you very much. Many Japanese commute. Okay, thank you. Next one. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, this is the language, right? And the Spanish is what? The language, yeah. Next one. The poor are? Thank you. The poor are helped. Thank you. Good. Next one. Yes, please. Thank you very much. The blind want. Thank want the blind want good. Okay, go on. Next one. Yes, Marwa. The effect of honeybees thing on human beings depends on that person's to the bees uh, venom. Most people are not in danger of their time, but there have been instances of allergic disease. Okay, thank you very much. Good. You are right. Thank you. Now, make sure that you got the right answers. Check your answers quickly. Quickly check your answers. And let's make a quick summary of this lecture. OK, let's make a quick summary for this lecture. What did we talk about today? Uh -huh. Go on.
Yes, please. Some of a lot of and another expressions of quantity. Yeah, they, they, some expressions of a quantity. Uh huh. Uh, uh, if, if it is followed, uh, if if the if, uh, of followed by a singular noun, so we will we'll use the singular verb. If it is plural noun, we we'll use the plural. Good. Verb. So these expressions of a quantity can be followed by a singular noun and a singular verb or a plural and a plural. Thank you. Yes, please. Okay, and they are an exception to the rule. Okay, thank you, because they take plural nouns and singular verbs. Thank you. Okay. Subjects, okay, they are singular nouns. They take singular verbs. Yes, please. Very good. For example, we say two and two is four. Good. Two and four is, uh, two is four. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So some words express the la a language. Uh, okay, English is easy. This is the language. But when we say the English, people who are from England. Okay, the English are, the English like. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Yes, please. Uh, a few adjectives uh, can be said by them, like uh, the poor, the, uh, the rich, the young. Uh, it's considered uh, plural, uh, plural nouns. nouns. You are right. The poor are, the blind are good. Thank you. The rich are. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the endless, uh, the endless who end with S uh, are singular as. Uh, okay. You are right. Like. Okay. Some. Uh, types of diseases, names of illnesses end with S, but they take singular verb. Yeah? Yeah, don't end with S. Okay, people is. For, uh, people are. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, they don't end with S, but they take plural. Yeah. Though they end with S, okay, the United States, for example. Okay, thank you very much. Good. And finally, yeah? Okay. In, in plural writing, we use R. Okay, thank you very much for today.